I'm just going to move out of the way so that we have some room. Actually, you know what? Let's just, let's just go in the back. Let's chill back here. We got a lot of room over here. We're gonna go on down. My, my, my dog's pooping! We finally hit over 300 likes on the last tutorial. So you guys are officially, officially ready for the part two of LSPDFR tutorial. So ultimate backup is the plugin we are installing for today's video. I think it's the most proper one to install next because it's very easy and you don't need anything else crazy. Very, very easy. So we're just gonna jump right into this tutorial. So be sure to smack that like button if it helps you at all or if you enjoy my content and hit that subscribe button if you are new. We drop videos every week and we go live every Wednesday and Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Standard. We do have have a discord link in the description um, also if you want to join the SST crew memberships you can definitely do that too it's in the link or it's the links the the link guy link oh brother this guy stinks no the link to the description go check it out again shout out to all my SST crew members y'all are the best I love you all you guys keep rocking at the live streams I love seeing you guys all there okay let's go ahead and jump straight into the tutorial because you guys deserve it and it's been long awaited first things first we are going to open up Google Chrome or any browser source of your liking we're going to type in ultimate backup right there or you can hit the link in the description because I will leave all the proper links for you guys down below to make this as easy and as fast as possible because trust me this is very easy to install so be careful going to the sites so make sure to have a ad blocker or just don't click any pop-ups don't click any pop-ups that are on the sides don't click any other download links that I'm not clicking just follow along exactly what I'm doing so ultimate backup by Bajojo plugins we're just gonna click on that as you can see his site is here his site's filled with malware and whatnot and pop up so just be careful S some people have gotten viruses from the site so be careful this is one site that does have some stuff lingering so as you can see we're at the ultimate backup main page it tells you everything about it there's a lot to it well not that much but we're only gonna we're only going to be going through the basic settings for ultimate backup and it's kind of how I have them too. So let's just go ahead and scroll on down and hit this download button right here. The big white box. So it'll go to the top right right there. I'm going to actually open this up and make sure to have WinRAR. I'll leave the link down below. And if you guys don't have that, be sure to install it. I mentioned it in my last tutorial. So if you are watching this and you haven't seen my last tutorial, you are already messing up. We have the download right here. Um, so we're going to leave this up. I'm actually going to minimize this, but we're going to bring it up back or back up later. Uh, we need one more thing, and that is Rage Native UI. Um, the reason we are using a aftermarket one, I'd say, is that that's what we're calling just like its own standalone Rage Native UI, um, is because the one that comes with it is very very outdated so we're going to type in rage native ui i'll leave the link down below to this exact one it's going to be on github by alex guire so we're going to click on this one right here it's going to be rage native ui 1.9.2 you're going to see this you're going to click on this right here rage native ui dot zip so we're going to go ahead and click on this one right there and we are going to open up the rage native ui download so we have it up right there Again, let's just go ahead and minimize this for now. So now that we have the main things downloaded and open, we can go ahead and close out of Google because we no longer need that. So the next step is to open up your main game directory. So let's go ahead and open up our directory. So we have it right here. Make sure to leave some white space right there because we are going to be doing some dragging and dropping. So just move it to the side right there and open up Ultimate Backup and our Rage Native UI downloads. So we have them stacked right here. First thing to do, under the Rage Native UI, as you can see, we have these four files. All you need is this one right here. We're going to drag and drop the Rage Native UI.dll straight into the directory. As you can see, it is placed right there above the Rage plugin hook. It is now in. You can now exit out of this download WinRAR. No longer need that. So the next one is Ultimate Backup. We're going to go ahead and double click on this folder. And as you can see, it does have a Rage Native UI.dll, but it does not work with the latest LSPDFR. Um, so don't use that one. Use the updated one that I have linked in the description. So we're gonna skip over that. As you can see, it has a readme text file. Please, please take your time to check that out. It is very, very crucial that you read these because it tells you 
everything about it. It even tells you how to install. It literally is very, very simple. Um, take your time to check that out. I'm not gonna show you guys, but again, I literally have a background that says README. Please, please read the Readmes <laughs> that come with downloads. Seriously, it is very important that you check them out. Okay, so next step, we are going to drag in the plugins folder. Drag and drop straight into the directory, just like that. As you can see, it's highlighted. Now we no longer need this WinRAR. We can X out and now all we need is our GTA directory. So now that we have it all inside our game directory, we can now go to the configuration settings file. So to get there, all we have to do is open up plugins, open up LSPDFR, and now you can see all the files that we had installed. So as you can see, we have police smart radio and vocal dispatch. I do not use those, so I'm going to delete those. If you guys want your game exactly like mine, delete these. So you can delete them one by one, just right click, delete, right click, delete. I use Grammar Police, I do not use those, so we are going to get rid of them. Now we are left with Ultimate Backup Main Files, and we are going to adjust the Configuration Settings file, which is right here. So we're going to double click on this. As you can see, it kind of looks like a lot, but we're only going to be changing two main keys. So you could take your time and read through this. It tells you the key binds. As you can see, the toggle menu key is B, which is the main key to open up the menu. Um, Ultimate Backup, I think, is the best thing to have after you've installed LSPDFR because you could have partners. You could have your K9. You could have EMS. You could have air units during pursuits, Code 3 Backup, Felony Stop Backup. You name it. A whole bunch of stuff. It is very, very nice to have in the game. So that is why I chose Ultimate Backup. So again, you can see all the uh, keybinds you can put in if you want, but I only have two things changed on this setting. So we're going to scroll on down. If you want your game just like me, you're gonna scroll on down until you see panic button units. So I'm going to delete police bike. So it's gonna be under panic button units right here. You're going to delete police bike because I do not like having police bikes arrive on scene because they are very annoying. So as you can see, I deleted police bike and I deleted that extra comma. So make sure it looks just like this. Then you are good to go. You don't have to do that. That's how I have my game. So again, if you want yours like mine, this is the way to do it. First thing changed right there. Second thing under felony backup number. So this is the amount of units that arrive on scene for a felony stop backup. So you could have three. I only like having two. So I'm going to change that three to a two. And that is about it. That's literally it. So you're going to go to the top left file, hit save and exit. So that is literally it. That's all we got to do. So we're going to hop into the game and show you guys the ultimate backup menu and how to navigate and spawn things. So there is more you can go through under this folder, but this is very advanced. Honestly, I leave it as basic as possible because these are this tutorial is for a lot of the new people that are playing LSPDFR and want to get into it more um, and just want it as basic as possible. This is the best way to do it. So everything's installed. You can exit out of your GTA directory. Everything's installed. Now we are going to boot up Rage plugin hook down here. So I'm going to show you guys this. So I'm going to double click Rage at the bottom here. I'm going to hit yes. Now it may say an error. So I think some people have been getting this. I recently just started getting this with this game build, but there is a workaround. So it says Steam failed to initialize. Please verify that the Steam client is running and try again. If you guys are having this error, there is a bypass to get through this. So I don't know how to specifically fix this but this is the best way to get around it. Um, so if you guys have a fix, drop a comment down below if you guys know how. Um, but I'm going to just hit OK on that. I'm gonna exit out of Rage right there. We are going to open up Steam. You're going to make sure you're on GTA. You're going to click Play. You're going to click Play Grand Theft Auto V. Not online, Grand Theft Auto V. Hit Play. You're gonna exit Steam. Now that Rockstar Game Services pops up, you're going to boot up Rage. Just like I am. Just like that. So it's going to hit play on Steam, and then you're going to start up Rage. And boom, everything works. Mine's going to start up in windowed mode. I'm just going to force full screen right there. Now when this game loads up, I will show you guys how to navigate through Ultimate Backup. All right, we are inside GTA 5 story mode so now we are going to load up lspdfr i'm just going to move out of the way so that we have some room actually you know what let's just let's just go in the back let's chill back here we got a lot of room over here we're gonna go on my 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 dog's pooping oh my 
<laughs> Gosh, okay, okay. You know what? Don't mind that. I just wanted a little open space, but I guess it's as good as it gets. So, let's just go ahead, hit F4. We're going to load plugin, as you can see, and hit tab again for load LSPDFR. This is typically how I always load up LSPDFR. Now that it's loading, we are going to force duty straight after it. All right, now we are going to force duty. This will put us straight onto duty and we will have our uniform on. And now you can see at the bottom left, ultimate backup has been loaded. It says enjoy. We are now on duty and we are ready to use the ultimate backup menu. So there is one more step we have to do before we open it up. We are going to hit the escape key. We're going to go to LSPDFR. We're going to go to settings. No, it's under key bindings. We're going to go under key bindings. And as you can see, we're going to scroll on down where it says backup menu. We're gonna click on this and we're going to clear this. As you can see, it hits. you gotta hit space to clear it. So we're going to get rid of that because we don't need that keybind because this is the LSPDFR backup menu. We're using ultimate backup. So clear that, that is how you do it. Make sure there is no keys in this setting right there. So we're gonna leave that be. It should save and we are good. So now all we gotta do is hit B on our keyboard and shabam we have ultimate backup in the game it works perfectly fine you can just keep bringing it up as many times as you want but this is how you get code 2 backup this is how you get a canine partner this is how you get your own partner this is how you get code 3 backup it is so so good to have as you can see under code 3 we have local units we can call in so to navigate through this menu obviously you just hit b to bring it up and the first one you're brought up with is code 2. Now, under Code 2 Backup, you can call in Local, State, and under uh, Female Patrol Unit, you can also get Local and State. So, you get just regular, you get the female units, you can get Police Bike, you can get your Supervisor. And all you literally got to do is just hit Enter on it, Assistance and boom. And there you go. Now, now, your backup is blipped on the mini-map, as you can see, is in blue. They are arriving. The the see? He says he's on his way. There we go. And, and they all work this way. So I can call him a supervisor. There you go. Look, now he's coming in on the right down there. As you can see on the mini map, it works. And watch, they'll, they'll walk around the house. They're here. This ultimate backup plugin is a must have, guys. It is so good to have in your game. They're on their way. I know they are. Again, if you don't want the backup here anymore, say uh, you cleared up a scene, um, you wrapped up a shots fired scene. Look at them. Los Santos Sheriff. Two of them. Now, okay, so say I don't want these guys here anymore. You call them back up and you're like, okay, how do I clear them? If you hold the enter key, it'll clear your backup. It says all police buddies are dismissed. There we go. Okay, stop sending me call outs. So as you can see, we have our canine. We can just spawn canine partner right there. There's our canine. And we can also change the look by navigating through all these. Now, if you want the legit German Shepherd with the vest, Attention I will save units. that for We've a different a video because arrest. you need open IV for that. Um, but for the people that are just starting out, quiet down. I am just going to leave it like this and just show you guys that, yeah, you could just use the Rottweiler Shep or yeah, this Shepherd, Retriever, Husky, um, there is different textures that I think, uh, I don't even know if they worked on these ones, but again, this is just your basic canine partner if you want, or canine. So we could despawn it by hitting despawn. Um, so that's how the canine partner works. We also have the regular partner. So you can have an air swap backup. You can have a female local patrol unit be your partner. You can have a state patrol partner be your unit, or you can have a partner wearing the same exact outfit as you. So that's typically like how I like to do it. Um, so I'll just leave everything how it is uh, and you'll spawn a I partner. Got you. So he will be with you in all your throughout your whole patrol. He'll get in your vehicle. One keybind to get him in, into the vehicle. So I'll actually show you guys this. So we're going to head on up. We're going to go outside. Let me go ahead and spawn a police vehicle. So I'm just going to spawn police two. So we got our car right here. We're going to go ahead and hop inside. So if he wants to get inside the car, all we got to do is hit T. Citizens report no, a Grand Theft Auto and... With a Grand Theft Auto. So, boom, we hit T and he got inside the car. Now, when you get out, he'll get out. Pretty cool. Now, if you want to dismiss him, you can open up the menu again and you can just dismiss all partners. Um, if you want him to have a rifle, you can have him copy the rifle that you have on yourself or you could have him have an assault shotgun or a pump shotgun. All up to you, but if you do change it to one of these weapons, make sure to hit update existing partner's weapons. 
So he's going to have a pump. We're going to update it. And he should have a pump when I take out my pistol. Boom. Now he's got a pump. Citizens report a grand Pretty cool. Auto. All right. So I'm going to dismiss my partner because we no longer need him. So we did code 2, K9 partner, and regular partner. We can also have code 3 backup. So this is like your main uh, emergency response. As you can see, you can do your patrol units, tactical units, SWAT, noose, uh, emergency services. So you can call an EMS. Ambulance. Right there. Required in, so they're on their uh, way. You can call in fire departments. Uh, you get air ambulance, air SWAT backup, first responder, uh, fire, and medic. So all these work. So depending on your situation, you have everything you need right there. Uh, but that is basically it with ultimate backup. Very, very simple to install. Very easy to navigate through. I think it's a must-have. A very good essential to LSPDFR. I use it all the time. Again, you can mess with the settings more if you want to in the configuration settings all based on preference but this is how i do it so that is basically going to wrap it up for today's gta 5 lspdfr tutorial if you guys did enjoy it and it did help you and you really did understand it seriously hit that like button and also uh be sure to maybe share the video with others that want to get into lspdfr this is i think this is the best way to explain it i think this is the best thing to have next into your game so comment down below if it helped I'd be uh, glad to hear what you guys thought about the tutorial video. Let me know how it goes when you get it in your game. But that is basically going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.